Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to deploy a microservice from a GitHub repository via Wayscript. We'll be using a Snowflake microservice in this example, where we can do SQL statements against our tables. Let's jump right in. Starting out within Wayscript, what we'll do is we will paste in the endpoint of a GitHub repository that has the microservice that we want to host. If you want to use Snowflake 2, I'll link this link in the description so you can copy that and paste it right into this HTTP URL blank. And what that'll do is copy those files in that GitHub repository into a Wayscript layer and set it up for us. Once all of those files load in, this is the endpoint that we're greeted with. What we'll do is click on open develop. Awesome, we already have our code in place. There's only a few things that we need to do to get this up and working so we can start using it as a service. Our first step will be since we are working with a third party service, Snowflake, We'll be needing credentials from them. In order to do this safely within Wayscript, we'll use a .secrets file. If you need any information on why secrets are important, I'll link those docs below. But in short, what we're doing when creating a secrets is just making it so we can safely store credentials. That way we don't write them in plain text and we don't accidentally upload them to GitHub or something else. So we'll be using secrets. We have a few secrets and I'll show you these within our GitHub code. So what we need to access this third party service is a user, a password, and an account. And I'll show you where to get each of these now. So within Snowflake, this is what my dashboard looks like. We'll get our user by clicking this here and then going to profile. So this will be my user. So I'll copy that. Our key will be user and our value will be that value that I just copied over. We'll do the same thing with password and the account. If you need help on where to get these, I have a link for that down below too. So we'll add all of these and I'll cut back. So now that our credentials are in place and we can start interacting with that third party service, we can deploy our application via Wayscript. We'll do that by using the built-in trigger system. We'll make sure that the trigger panel is open with this lightning bolt at the bottom. Then we'll click this plus icon here. At this point, we are hosting a microservice. So we'll be using the deploy trigger. We'll paste in that command. It looks like this and then our port will be 880. All this is doing is hosting a Flash server, and if you need more info on that, I'll have a video linked down below too. One of our final steps will be to install our requirements. So we'll say pip install read in our requirements.txt. And this will set up all the dependencies that we need to make sure that this is working correctly. And that's all it takes to get this service up and running. Now a user, all they would need to do to interact with the service is to write something that looks similar to this. So we're sending a request to that endpoint where we're passing in the warehouse, database, and schema. We'll add that all to the API URL and then send the request as a post request. Then we'll get back all the information using that SQL statement. In this example, I have a ton of data in this table, so it would take quite a minute to show you here. But if you want to see more examples of this in action, feel free to check out the links in the description. As always, if there's any questions about this service or anything that you would like to see us do with it, please leave us a comment down below and we'll be happy to help however we can. Until next time.